Agent mode in VS Code is like magic. In agent mode, Copilot can make edits to your code and invoke tools to help accomplish the request that was made. In today's video, I'm going to talk a bit more about what exactly tools are and the different ways that they can be provided. Tools in agent mode help Copilot get the job done by providing its own additional capabilities, like searching the code base, running a terminal command, reading files, and so much more. You can see your list of tools by switching to agent mode in chat, then clicking the tools icon. From here, you can deselect or select which tools you would like to make available to Copilot. Tools can come from built-in tools, which are listed under GitHub Copilot chat, and include things like Codebase, which references information in your codebase, or Fetch, which will fetch web data and provide it as context. You can always reference these tools with a hashtag. So for example, I can say add Tailwind CSS, hashtag fetch, and then the URL. Or I can use natural language and say fetch from web page and then the URL, and it will automatically call the tool. This is where the power of agent mode really lies. Not only can it edit your files, but it can invoke these tools to help you get the best possible response. Now, there are two other places that tools can come from, extensions and MCP servers. With the Prompt Boost extension, let's first look at how extensions can provide tools. The Prompt Boost extension enhances your prompts to get better, more accurate responses by adding relevant technical context, best practices, and specific requirements. So with this extension installed, let's look at this markdown file that I have with a simple prompt to create a to-do app. And this is the typical extension experience that you're used to in VS Code, where it adds a feature to the editor. So I can click boost prompt and it will return a much more detailed prompt. But it would be really great if we could boost our prompt while we were talking to Copilot. And you can, because extensions can contribute tools to agent mode. So if we head over to agent mode and click on the tools icon, you will see the prompt boost tools from the prompt boost extension. So I can reference this tool by typing hashtag prompt boost, but the real power comes from agent mode invoking it automatically based on the user's prompt. So if I type boost this prompt, then agent mode will automatically invoke it. Now we get our enhanced prompt returned that we can then use to continue our conversation to get better results with a better prompt. This is a really great example of how the extensibility that you know and love in VS Code works with AI as well. And you can build your own. Check out our docs on the Language Model Tool API to learn more. Okay, so next I want to explore how agent mode can invoke MCP tools. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol and is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to models. And remember, better context equals better answers. In VS Code, MCP support enhances agent mode by allowing you to connect any MCP server and use the tools it provides in agent mode. MCP server configuration happens in the mcp.json file located in the VS Code folder. I already have a perplexity server configured here, but to add a new server, I could click the add server button directly in the JSON file where you can then select a type and it will add a template for your new server. Now, if we look at this perplexity server configuration, you will see that we have general properties for setting the command and arguments, but then you will also see a property for an input variable for our API key. Input variables let the user input sensitive information so you can avoid hard coding it. And then we can reference that input in the perplexity API key property. When I go to start the server for the first time, inputs are prompted, then stored securely by VS Code. So this is a really great feature that allows you to keep your secrets safe. And we can run the MCP list servers command to see the list of servers I have and start or stop them. Now, if we look at our tools available in agent mode, we see the perplexity ask, research, and reason tools from our perplexity MCP server. I have this web page running and it's all about MCP. So let's add a page about the top MCP servers. If I prompt research with perplexity what the best MCP servers for front end development are and create a splashy listing page, it will automatically invoke the perplexity research tool. Here's one little hack you might not know about in agent mode. When certain tools are invoked, Copilot requests confirmation to run the tool. If you have a tool that runs frequently and that you trust, you can use the continue button dropdown options to automatically confirm the specific tool for the current session, workspace, or all future invocations. Then you won't get prompted the next time it runs. When I continue with this tool, we have the power of perplexity at our fingertips. 
This will take a few moments, so I did make some quick editing cuts here so we can skip ahead. Once the tool call is finished, you can see the output from it, so we can see the full response that Perplexity returned. Then Copilot will take that result and edit our code to implement our new page, all without us having to leave our agentic coding flow. Agent mode is powerful, and there are so many tools you can leverage to get the best possible results for your workflow. Have you started coding with agent mode? Let us know in the comments and if there are any topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Happy coding!